All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. I want to share with you a couple of opportunities on the radar for today. One is following on from yesterday's live session on the structure-based trade on the Aussie CAD. Um, many of you are asking, well, how can I enter? What's the best way to enter? And we actually got an entry yesterday. So I'm going to walk you step by step through that and the rules of a high quality double bottom entry. And then also I'm going to share with you an intraday trade on the Euro dollar, which is called an FTB. And I'll walk you through some of the setups on that as well. So let's get stuck in. One of the opportunities that I wanted to share with you is following on from yesterday's live trading session. And that's on the Aussie CAD. This is one of the, the more juicy um, opportunities that we had on the radar. And although we've been bearish in this market since, um, well, since for a long time, um, we did actually have, we did actually have an opportunity for a counter trend move, a structure based long. And uh, yesterday, I showed you guys we were approaching this previous level of structure. So as we pushed down and approached this previous level of support, um, we were we were hoping for a dip into that level, which we wasn't quite at yesterday's live room. But I said if we did, then we could start looking for. Uh, to decide how we can get involved, how we can involve ourselves and start looking at price, how price is behaving. And what we were looking for is some kind of confirmation that price was decelerating or was likely to hold. Now, I can already tell here that this is a retest on the four hour. If we drop down to the hourly, um, I, can almost, I can almost see the double bottom here. And um, that's exactly what we did. As we approached that level, we held, we tested, we pulled back up, then we pushed back down, we tested again, we didn't violate the lows. Didn't quite go over sold on the four hour on the RSI, but if we drop down to the 60, you're gonna see the exact double bottom that I said we'd be waiting for um, on yesterday's live session. So if you go and watch the video that I put on YouTube yesterday, you can see that we got um, the initial test, and RSI was dipped over sold. We was about 18.8. Then what was really nice is when we put in the second test here, which the rules were we had to test the low but not break and close below the low, we had real strong um, bullish divergence on the RSI, but we had equal lows, okay? And that there then became validated. This candle here, <clears throat> which was yesterday, uh, last last night at 8 p.m. This is what I got in on my um, my Ninja Trader account there, um, and I entered next bar market. So just before, basically just before I went to bed, um, I placed this trade um, and got in. Not as not we didn't get in down here. We got in up here. So we waited for the bar, bar to close. 89.92 uh, was my entry, and then for targets, we're looking at structure now. For me. I just want a quick in out setup. Okay, so for me, my target was just at these highs with my stop and ATR uh, below the low. And that was giving me about a 1.1, just over a one to one reward to risk. So it's a quick in out. I don't want to um, be greedy with this. I just want to get my profits and, and get out and then get onto the next opportunity because there could be other opportunities in here as we start to consolidate. But that was a real nice setup. It's a great demonstration of how we use higher time frame to predict uh, where market's likely to go and how it's likely to react at a certain major price point. We then dis, uh, decide how to get involved. Well, we're using a, a conservative double bottom entry at that level for extra confirmation. And then we execute the trade next bar market when we have the patience to wait for that trade to play out. Now, the, the, the key lesson here is it's important that you wait for the candle to close because if we were to close below this previous low, even though we're still in the zone, it would still be an invalid trade because we're, it's not a valid double bottom. Um, so it's really important that you wait because that's going to determine what whether you're on the high side, high probability side of the market and things are likely to go your way or um, it's not going to go your way. So that was the trade. Um, Hopefully you guys managed to uh, to catch that. The other one similar to this was what we were looking at on the pound um, dollar, but this was a continuation setup. So you guys were looking at a day trade and uh, you were looking for a pullback into this zone yesterday. This was yet where we were yesterday's uh, live room. We were trading around this level here. We pushed up into that zone and then we rolled over. If you manage to catch that, chances are if you got in at the best price, 
You could have got a 1.7 to 1 reward to risk, which would have been nice. Um, but hopefully some of you guys caught that. If not, never mind, on to the next one. Uh, on the euro dollar, so it has to enter on the candle after the signal. So the way this works is, once you've identified the signal, you're looking to enter or you're waiting for confirmation of the next candle to trigger you into the trade. So you can see that we've broken down here. We had this big, strong, bearish momentum. We're seeing this little pullback. As I said, the only setup that was attractive here would be the FTB. Now, depending on your rules for the FTB, some of you like to have two bullish candles, three bullish candles prior to the signal candle. Um, but we've actually got that. So what you're looking at is the hourly time frame. You're looking at uh, this signal here being the FTB, depending on your rules. So some of you, as I say, if you just bring on the fib retracement quick, just for a measuring tool, and go from the high to the low of this, this whole candle here, some of you like to have the open and the close in the lower third. Some of you like to have the open and the close in the lower 30% of the candle. Um, and that's all based on your testing, your filtering and your optimization of the system to pick out even more opportunity or high, higher probability or whatever it might be to suit your personality and your lifestyle when you can check the, you know, how frequent you want to get uh, opportunities. But let's just say this one is valid for you because we're under the we're under the 50%. Some of you just trade off the 50%. It's in the lower 50% of the entire candle body. It's actually about 36, 38, 37, 38% of the total candle body. Now, what you do is once you've got this signal, you then tell your broker that if price pushes down a couple of pips below the low of this signal on the next candle, then I want to I want to be put into a short position. So you don't you still not you're still not setting you're still not getting in the trade. You're telling your broker actually you're setting a sell stop order below the low of the low and you're saying right if price pushes down there on the next candle then that's extra confirmation that we're going to uh, push down into that New York session. Now we set the order if this candle doesn't fill that order in the next hour and this one closes then we just close off that that order altogether and guess what this might be the new signal and then we do the same thing again but um this candle is what will trigger this trade if it's a valid setup okay so if this candle triggers this this order that means we're in the trade then we can get our stop loss order above the high and then we can manage the trade and trail the stops later in the day and all the rest of it so that's uh, going back to the question where we, he said, so has to enter on the candle after the signal. It doesn't have to enter. It just depends whether this, this candle will be the confirmation uh, that, that pushes down and, and breaks the, uh, you know, triggers the order. So that's how, that's how we roll. Makes sense? <clears throat> Hopefully. If not, then uh, as I say, the whole strategy is inside the Tears of Freedom Mastery section called the FTB, which stands for Follow the Bear. I did a workshop about four, five years ago um, when I basically demonstrated this to Tier 1, and it was a very popular setup because it's easy to track. Not so easy to make it your own and, and get it to how you want it, but that's the work of all systems, right? Alright guys, that's it. So if you enjoy this type of video, let me know in the comments. Give it a like so we know and uh, I'll produce plenty more of these. And if there's any topics or anything trading related or investing related that you want to see on this channel, let me know in the comments and I'll look forward to reading every one of your comments and uh, doing what we can to deliver what you will find most valuable. So until next time, take care, like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more of these and I'll see you then.